Episode 7, Introduction to Databases. Hello community, we are back with episode 7. In this episode, I want to explain you what a database is. I'm going to assume that you don't know anything at all about a database. So I want to explain you first what it is. A database and the whole purpose of it is to store and manage data. That's the most basic explanation of what a database is. Believe it or not, data and databases go back thousands and thousands of years ago. If you think about Egyptians and how they store data making hieroglyphics will be a good thought. Everything comes through there. The whole purpose of storing data to manage it later. Fast forward until today and you will realize that we have data everywhere. Any device that we use and we have around has data. Even a refrigerator. It's, it's crazy to think like this. So we have two ways of storing and managing this data. One will be manually. So I don't know, think about going into a web page and uh, submitting some information or uh, login and this kind of things. This will be a way of putting data in, right? And then someone will get this data out. This is a manually way of doing that. The second way is automatically. So we have a bunch of devices that are programmed to retrieve data and send it back to, to the storage, right? To then be able to analyze that data. So think a little bit more. We have data everywhere, all around the bus. So what are we doing with all of these data? This data is being processed by a software, so actually people can make use of it. Anything that data will be useful for. You may be wondering what is all of this data useful for and how, how nowadays we can have so much access to it. So let's make a quick resume of what we have seen. Databases are there to store and manage data to then return it. We store the data and then we return it. DBMS, Database Management System. Have you heard about this? DBMS is actually the software that is letting all the database administrators, the data analysts, the data developers to access this data, manipulate, read it, and report it later as the other users need. Think about a DBMS. A DBMS is a container of actually databases. So you have a lot of bunch of different DBMS in the market, such as MySQL or SQL Server or PostgreSQL, among others. So basically the DBMS is containing the databases and the databases at the same time are containing data and of course the objects that are inside. All of these databases have one thing in common, like the language of love, and it's SQL. What's, what's SQL? It's a structured query language that is letting all of these databases talk between each other. Nowadays, a lot of people is involved with SQL, believe it or not. Directly, the professionals that are actually writing these queries to run and indirectly maybe the people like us, people that is executing apps in our daily tasks and we don't even realize this. So, if you actually want to become a data master in, in any of the paths that it has, for example, data analyst or a data developer or an automator or a database administrator, you will have one thing in common, like one ring to rule them all, and that is SQL. All of them use SQL, so if you learn first SQL, you will be able to scale it to any of the paths that you want to choose. A fun fact is that SQL has been here since the 70s. So it's around 50 years that we have it. Recruiters, I hope this has worked for you and see you in the next episode, episode eight. We will be talking about web servers. Ciao.